Hello all very warm welcome. Today we are looking at another lead code question which is kth largest element in an array. Right. So this has been asked in January uh, January uh, lead code challenge and this is again a question which was asked in Google uh, wherein these tries to test your multiple format in the way you are thinking the question how you're kind of optimizing the problem statements and trying to come up with the best possible approaches in terms of time and space complexities right so uh, what the question says is find the kth largest element in an unsorted array note that it is the kth largest element in the sorted order not in the kth distinct element so irrespective of whether it's a duplicate value or not what we need to look for okay whether that kth element is the largest one or not we need to find that kth element which is largest in the sorted order right very simple example i have 3 2 1 5 6 4 in the case 2 i need to find the second largest element so if i look at the second largest element is 5 right if i go at this one so this this has some duplicate values of threes but if you look at what is the largest element of the k fourth position that will be four because uh, after this i have three more uh, numbers which are greater than that right so we'll we'll solve this uh, problem uh, using python language and then uh, we'll use some inbuilt libraries to uh, uh, to kind of leverage the to come up with the solutions right so first of all right this question itself says that okay it's a sorted uh, so in the work what we'll just think of is the very first approach is okay the brute force mechanism where what we're going to say is i'll just sort the array and return the index that's what we are going to do right so if you are saying kth largest if the ask is kth largest then that means what you have to return is whatever the length of array is minus the uh, k index whichever is given because post sorting right because when you are doing a sorting it will always be in ascending order right so this is something which anyone will do in the in, in the first curve and it will just return uh, nums len dot sort whatever the whatever the length of the array is minus k right this is it right this is it once we run it it will return the proper answers let's submit it and then that will be Now, what happens next? Say the the uh, essay the interviewer ask you, okay, what is the time complexity of this, right? The sorting algorithm in uh, Python takes n log n because that is again using say merge sort and quick sort in the background. But uh, what if say, okay, no, 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 this is this is going to be a bit, bit higher because you are looking at n log n complexity. Can you reduce that? So this is where the the uh, interesting part comes in, right? So whenever, right? I think we can we can we can take a note of this as well. Whenever we are talking about any largest kth element, and then what we can think of straightforward is the heaps, right? So when whenever we are going to talk about those, what we can say is we have to consider we the first thing we should come in mind is heaps, right? And what kind of heaps? If we are saying largest. Then we should look for minimum heap if we are talking about uh, say smallest then we should talk about max now what are heaps now uh, when i'm talking about mainly what heaps sort here what are heaps now in heaps what is happening is right whenever i have a, a root node root node in the k min min uh, heap is always the smallest of its childs my root so this this is uh, root node is always the smallest of the child so this is not a min heap this comes under the max heap right because in this one my root node is largest of it when i'm saying min heap that means my this is my min heap this is my min heap and what are uh, when I'm saying heap, that means heap is a complete binary tree because uh, in this one I'll always move in layers. It will always move in layers. It will always have two child nodes. Then it it goes from top to bottom, left to right. This is how it works, right? So 
how we are going to uh, do that is we are going to create a heap uh, 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 which which we in in, uh, in in python we have uh, a kind of inbuilt functionality which is called heap queue right what it does it whenever you keep on adding the values in the array it will keep on doing a sorting internally and it will uh, bring the minimum number on top of it right so say uh, say i kind of uh, let's create a new one right so what happens here right say it will so in in, in the example which was given to us right in the example which was given to us uh, they are saying okay 3 2 1 5 6 4 right so i got 3 right i'm talking about my names i got 2 right is this smaller so what will do it it will uh, replace it it will become 2 it will become 3 because my root node should be smaller right then it, it got a 1 right 1 got inserted here but it is again smaller than the root so these two will interchange right so this becomes 1 3 2 this doesn't matter whether this is sort or not but the important part is this should be minimum right now this next question next is 5 and 6 right 5 and 6 are going to come here 5 6 and the four will come here right this is still fine right this is a heap sort this is one approach or it, it other can be like one three two uh four five six this can also happen right it it, it works on those manners so it doesn't matter whether these are sorted or not it's just that these are this my root node should always be smaller than the child nodes right now what we are going to do is we are we are going to keep on inserting the values in the heap sort and we'll see okay if my number of input is going to be greater than k i am going to pop that element out right and i'll i'll in include the next element to it so what i mean by that is so first what what i just said let's create one uh, uh, heap so this is my heap now what i'm going to do is ep5 that means this is now going to act as my uh, heap tree in the sense it will going to be acting as my uh, uh, heap it this this particular uh, 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 data structure is going to work as a heap tree now now what we are going to do is now if you want to get more details of it it is coming from your uh, heap queue or heap queue data structure right uh, I'll, I'll put it in the description we can go you can go ahead and read a read through it what is eq but uh, for for uh, for for the sake of uh, uh, understanding this so this contains a hippify of, of method wherein it, it kind of whenever you're going to add a value it will keep on adding into the rear and it'll bring on to the top and it'll again try to uh, recompare its child note and see what is happening or not right this is how it works so i i have my heap which is now hippified that means it is going to work in a it, it is always going to uh, insert the values in the heap now what i'm going to say is for all num in nums i'm going to push it into the heap i'm going to push it into the heap right so i i did heap and now i pushed it with a num value right now what we're going to say is if if my len of this heap let of this heap is greater than k if it is greater than k that means i i kind of when uh, i inserted a value which is going to be greater than the requested value what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop it out right say let let me show you how how it will pop it out heap up sorry i missed the spelling here heap up Heap. Right. I popped it, and for for clarity, saying what is happening, let's let's print it out. Then once I pop it, that means I am ensuring that okay, uh, this pop will do. It will it will it will always remove the minimum value in that array, and it will heapify it, and it will my my next smallest value will come onto the top, right? And once I am done with all this, right? What I am going to return is my final value, right? my final value in this heap will be always a uh, 
the kth largest element because I ensured that okay, I am not going to insert anything which is greater than k, uh, kth index, right? So let's run it, uh, but for clarity, right? Let me uh yeah let's 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 see what is happening here i missed an indentation okay so this starts here let me delete all this So this has to be here. See so if you see right, uh, I am printing the element. So let me print the uh, sorry. Right, I am printing one, two, three, four. That means what is given to me? My k index is two. So that means the moment I'm becoming greater than one, uh, greater than uh, the in value one, I hippify, I remove that one index. So if you see this, right, this is removing the smallest element from that particular heap one at a time, because that is going to be at the top of the node, right? Now, at the end of the day, I'll have my uh, fifth element, which is going, second, uh, second highest largest element, which is going to be the value, which we have to just return, and that's what we are returning. Let's submit and see what is happening. It got accepted right now the pan complexity of this is because we're talking about uh, 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 we're talking about uh, uh, k element is going to be inserted at a given point of time we're just saying it is k log k means we kind of improved it from n to k right now 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 the next question which comes in okay can you improve this further yes i can improve this further we can bring it to an o of log n uh, o of uh, and complexity but the the negative part of it is means in the worst case scenario it can become o of n square how can we do that we can use quick select now that i'll i'll, I'll leave to you how how we can go ahead and do that but i'll just uh, give give hints and here and there so what is a he quick quick heap right uh, quick select so here say i have elements three two four five and uh, say one right now quick select it works on partition right so what that means is see if someone is saying i need a second largest element right it doesn't matter that the small smaller numbers to that kth largest element whether it is sorted or not or the greater number is sorted or not what that may uh, what that i mean by that is so this four was the expected output, right? Uh, because I'm looking at second largest element, right? So what is important for me here is that even though it is three, two, one, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, it really doesn't matter because I know the second largest element is five, right? So say if this will have been say one, three, two, four seven five and someone would have said give me the third largest number this is still four when i'm saying third largest element it doesn't matter whether this is sorted whether this is sorted how can we we can we can do, do this we can do this using uh, partitions so what we're going to do is we are going to take one value at a time say three right and it we know that okay my pivot or or my kth index will be always the value will be n minus k position which i'm looking for so what i'll say three okay take this three scan through words this uh, array and bring and and if, if you know quick sort right uh, you always try to take one pivot and try to bring it to a position where uh, values uh, on left of it is always smaller right of it is always greater right that's what we are trying to do and what we are trying to leverage is partition method of it right so we'll take one index at a time and bring it to a position where we're expecting to be which is a minus k position so I'll, I'll give a description to what quick select is in the description below uh, please go have a look at it and try it from your side and learn in the process right so 
this will this approach right because in a, in a, in, a, in an average scenario will always scan once and you will get to the index which you are looking for so it will be off and right but in worst case scenario where uh, this is not going to work out then that will become o of n square which is going to be very very uh, uh, very very less number of scenarios the percentage of that happening is very very less right but on, on a general note uh, whenever someone is saying k is largest or smallest element the first thing which should come to your mind is heaps so this is it uh, this is the solution to find k largest i hope you like this explanation please go ahead and like and subscribe uh, I'll, I'll keep on posting uh, videos which is going to be uh, asked me uh, uh, i'm just keep on uh, uh, solving the questions which is going to come by and are very generic in very very common in interview questions thank you guys thanks a lot